some pagans believe in the Great Spirit, some other pagans believe in the Supreme Principle. Some pagans just honour the earth and they don't use the names of gods and goddesses at all. So there's lots of diversity, but that's fine. You can believe many different things and still be a pagan. We don't have any set dogma, we don't have no set of rules that tell us that we must believe one thing or another. I, I, I know that, that God is within everything that's on this world. That every single person, every single animal, every single tree and stone uh, has, has the spark of, of Hashem within, within them. And it's for us then to, to, when we are trying to repair the world, is to get those spots going back to, to God. We believe that God is one. Um, we believe that he's the creator and the sustainer of the universe, that he has no children and that no one gave birth to him. What I believe is that God works in everyone and that the importance of believing is that um, to see something, something to see something good in everybody, to focus on peace, and that means all peace. Um, that means peace at home, peace at work, peace in society. It is very difficult to do, but it's very important. To focus on the truth, to focus on equality, and on simplicity. And that is what I believe, is to uh, follow uh, the light or follow God. Yes. Again, from a Baha'i perspective, this is a huge topic. Baha'is would generally say that the concept of God is infinite. Uh, we are, we're human beings, we have finite understanding, so how can we understand about God? Well, the way we understand about God is through the messengers which come from God, who are the founders of the great religions, whether it's Christ, Muhammad, or in the case of the Baha'i faith, Baha'u'llah. They bring us tenets, holy writings, and how we should live. And this is how we humans learn to live our lives and to draw closer to God.